Kenya Primary School in Alexander, North of Chobek. The reason why we are here, we are here, so the kids will be taking part in the last play, rugby games, just an uh, event where they just all about the fact that the children here can be educated that they are really taking part in initiative, sponsor, and the play, and support for it. Also, Africa Chikun is also part of the initiative. We're going to be going straight to speak to Amanda Blankfield of Africa Chikun. She's the marketing manager. My name is Amanda Blankfield. So, um, Africa Chikun has organized with Let's Play Super Sports to have a rugby day today in Alex. We've got um, a few hundred kids here that are learning all the skills that you need to play rugby. And for some kids, it's the first time they've even seen rugby in their lives. It's very exciting for them to see rugby. And um, basically, we've done these days in Dipsa and Orange Farm as well this year. So that's up at the Kun, the whole up at the Kun knows what rugby is. And even at our sports day, we had rugby as one of the sports, touch rugby. So it's very good to have a partnership with an organization that lets play on activation. You can come and do these activations and teach people how to play rugby. So we can continue to offer you to learn it. And as well as other sports, which we'll work with them next year as well. If you've done cricket, you do soccer, any kind of sport, they, they do sports. So the whole point of sports is to be healthy, to be fit, and obviously to have fun. My name is Thomas Daole, I am a sports manager at Africa School. Um, Africa School, uh, just before the World Cup 2010, we signed a contract, a partnership with Super Sports Let's Play Initiative. Let's Play Initiative is about encouraging young people or everybody to be out there and play and exercise for healthy living, basically. The Let's Play uh, Initiative 1. We get uh, the equipment, sport equipment, from Super Sport itself, as we do in touch rugby today. Uh, we are going to have this red touch rugby balls, or this rugby balls. So we benefit as far as sport equipment is concerned. And of course, another opportunity is to promote the name of Africa School. People know us because um, to know the job we're doing in this community, different communities. As today we are at Alexandra. Many people perhaps in Alexandria, some of them they still don't know Africa School or what we do. Through this initiative, they will be able to know about what we do. Um, unfortunately, I'm not very happy with the numbers. We expected more than the numbers we have today. We expected 500 kids to be here today. But uh, we had uh, some logistic problems organization if you like to, to get those numbers there. I'm not pleased with the numbers, but I think um, the numbers we have we have here about half two hundred half of that number, two hundred and fifty. It's not bad. My name is Brad Watkins and I'm the operator area manager for active education. Well the objective here was to teach kids about a new sport and that's rugby. As you know, in a township like this, soccer is a predominant sport in, in townships, so the kids know soccer really well, and they play soccer a lot. So the objective here was to teach kids a new sport, which is rugby, and get them to, to learn a new skill, learn how to pass the rugby ball, learn how to kick a rugby ball, and just at the end of the day, for the kids to have as much fun as they possibly can, learning a new sport. Well, we've done three already. This is our fourth one that we're doing now in Alex. Um, at the moment, it's a one-off thing, but we're hoping to, to continue it in the new year um, with some more activations where the kids can learn and, and maybe even start introducing new sports like athletics, you know, because the Olympics is coming next year. 2012 is the Olympics, so people must get excited about doing the javelin and doing long jump and shot put and sprint. So we want, we want to hopefully continue this in the years to come. I'm very happy and the kids had lots of fun. At the end of the day, the most important thing is about the kids. If the kids are smiling and they're running and playing and having fun, then we're having a success. Because at the end of the day, if the kids take something, little, little thing away from this, like learning how to throw a rugby ball or learning how to kick a rugby ball, they've had fun and that was the most important thing.
Woo!